welcome, welcome. Whoa, these tunes. Watching fire in space. Getting a little bit less intense. Let's drop the volume a tiny bit on that. Do like a face cam thing. Welcome, Duct Tape with the Lurk. Thank you very much for letting me know. Hello, hello. Welcome, Naku. Thank you for the Insta host that is lit. I hope you like my cursed emotes. I got my camera out four seconds ago when my wife said, You don't have a camera. I was busy buying my own emotes with channel points that I have an infinite number of. Good times! Naku, how's it going? How's school? How's the studies? How's the math? The math would be the toughest part of it, you know. Just glad to have someone to watch while I'm blowing off your homework. That's it. Same thoughts, same thoughts, same thoughts. Hey, well, welcome. We're going to watch some fire. Have you seen Firewatch? Have you played this yet? Uh, there's a Discord for spoilers if you're interested. It's true. So much heller. This guy's all over my playlist. It's awesome. Right now, all I have right now is math. Two your classes got pushed up for the 31st due to COVID. Hey. Wowza. Wowza. Uh, how much does that in impact? Like, are you... Is... is are you attending a college or are you attending distance? Like, how, does, how is all of your class stuff working and has it... Oh, you're blind to Firewatch? Cool. Just told us pretty good. Same, same. Uh, I've played maybe like the first 20 minutes just to like play test it. Uh, so I knew what I was kind of getting into, but I don't know... Don't know anything I like about... It. It's just pretty interesting. Um, but yeah, like is COVID going to like really mess with your classes? Like, I know you've got to... You know, a six-year journey ahead and all that goodness, but just, you know, curious how all of that's going to go well for you. I'm, I'm, I'm crossing all fingers and toes. Distance learning, only going to take tests. They have 100% settled hour works. I think there's a lot of that that's just up in the air. Uh, just trying to figure it all out, trying to make sure everything works, right? Make sure everything works. Um, I think I've been sitting kind of low down here like, hey guys, that's cool. Um... Yeah, distance learning makes sense. Uh, friends of mine from Facebook, which I don't talk to because I only know them through Facebook anymore. But anyway, uh, are sending their kids for distance learning. They're not. They're not going into school. So, worst case, Ontario COVID turns out to be the plague in 1917. Everyone either dies or gains immunity after two years. That's right, right. Well, I mean, with everybody pumping out all the really questionable vaccines coming out first, you know, that'll give a test market. Right? It's like when Nintendo came out with the Wii and a whole bunch of people bought it and it turned out that it wasn't as fun as when they came out with the Wii U. Huh? Huh? I can afford to sit on my arse and wait for the Wii U or the Switch, which was way better. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The r r g Right? That one that people were like, ooh, me first. I'm like, yes, yes, please. When I was in, when I was in, uh, uh, high school, I remember pe pe people being livid at the price of a new console. Like, I think it was when, like, maybe PlayStation came out, and it was, like, 650 bucks, and people were like, what the fat hell? The previous generation consoles weren't nearly that price. I'm like, don't worry about it. Let the people that can afford that nonsense play test and find out if it's even worth that kind of price. And, like, short period, because it was, and it was lit, you know? PS3 was a bad move like so they, they've done that with a bunch where they've just like bumped up the price huge and I just kind of go let's let a whole bunch of other people buy it for that price and considering that if they knock a hundred bucks off it right at the get-go and only the same number of people buy it they don't come out that extra much right so you know they might as well shoot big at first and the diehards will pick it up you know Got the $400 second gen one that had way less issues. That's just it. It was actually a buddy of mine who worked for Walmart and he found out way, because way back in the day, they would return anything. It didn't matter. And so he worked there and uh, he his console got, uh, let's say, broken, got mad at a game kind of a thing and upset it. So he returned it because, you know, why not? See if you can get away with it. And he found his games ran better. And that was back before it was really widely known that the next generation had better hardware in it. So it was kind of like a thing that you don't necessarily even break it. You just say it doesn't work every, you know, six, eight months and continue to get the 
next generation graphics cards, stuff like that. They put in, they figure out the battery issues on some of the handhelds or whatever. Like it's, so yeah, you pretty much, you don't want to buy into the very, very first. And that is certainly going to be the case for any vaccine coming out just yet. I'm almost <laughs> certain for now, but I'm rowing a good enough boat that I can at least be comfortable. Try not to lord that over anyone because I know there are people that are really looking to have a better life out of this. So, you know, I hate to say that some of the test market folk are going to be some of the ones that we're obviously going to want to keep, but can we find some of the people we round up the wonderful world of Karens and maybe get them a whole bunch of vaccines first? Uh, but, you know, we're going to dive on into some Firewatch, which is, um, I will point out that the intro story is a little, uh, a little bit busy, if you will. I'm going to suggest that... Oh, hold on. That was supposed to smoothly go to the game. There we go. Uh, so you can see I can continue. We shan't. I'm going to be doing a new game. Uh, and I'll, I'll, I'll read the intro text. But I will suggest that it is a, uh, uh, a, bit, a tad emotional. So get ready for a small ride. And then we'll jump into a gorgeous looking game. I'll just say that right away. Uh, I'd full stop volunteer to get a vaccine that had base testing on like the Russian one that got pushed out right away. Like, yeah, it didn't even pass like standard clinical trial, let, let alone. So, you know, let others, let others. All right, let's jump on in. I think the volume should be set. Let me know, of course, if it's not. Everything else looks fairly pretty. Choose a save slot. Uh, just in case, I might as well start here. You have a decent immune system, would likely be fine with being one of the first human tests. Oh, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. And a handful of issues and genetic ones, too. There we go. Fully vetted, indeed. It's very, very movie intro. Boulder, Colorado, 1975. You see Julia. She's about your age, late 20s, laughing with well-dressed professionals, grad students from nearby CP, CU Boulder. You, Henry, out drinking with your pals. You approach her. You are drunk. So what's your major? Or you, you're pretty. We're going to take the high road. You slur the word major and it smells like Coors. You give an awkward smile. Evolutionary bi biology, she says, and I'm a professor. Cool, you reply. What's yours, she asks. She sniffs the air. Toxicology? Is that a burn, you ask? She says, definitely. Worried you hurt your feelings? She asks if you want to split a cheeseburger. One week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. A little tiny bit of game in here. I told you it's a pretty game. Very smooth too, I like it. <laughs> you date for over a year? She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Julia wants to get a dog. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia's in love. She wants to bring it in with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. Now at this point, we're going to go with the beagle named Bucket, because seriously, I don't even know if she'd like that dog named Mayhem. Bucket's a good dog, and a week later, you've totally forgotten about the other one. Julia loves him, and you love him too. Seriously, the feels. 1979. You walk out on the deck. It's summer, 9.30 p.m., and the heat radiates off the high desert. 
What do you think about kids, she asks. Kids? They're not very smart or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some. A couple of little idiots. Right? Let's get excited. In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I would like that, you say. These kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best that their parents are hitched. You say she's absolutely right. It's Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. You're not quite... She, she's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having fun time. Having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. Do we get mad or do we ignore her? You call her an inconsiderate asshole. She tells you to fuck yourself and to not be such a baby. Ooh. NSFW people. You call her selfish. She knows you mean it and hurts her feelings. Nineteen eighty one. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants for her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. <laughs> uh, very nice. We're totally gonna pose. Forks. Okay. Nineteen eighty two. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking Bucket at night. Oh, what an adorable dog. There's a festival in town that brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Bucket gets ticked. Kicked. Fuck, dog! Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she's stressed. You confront the attacker. I'm just gonna scare him away, cause you know. You reach into your pockets like you've got a gun to threaten to kill him. You manage to scare all. You manage to scare all three of you. He runs away. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say okay. You don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. Working on my narration skills here. 1984. Plans to have kids. Gotten waylaid by work. Julie gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job. Associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Well, maybe we can make it work. You ask if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that'll be hard, but she'll do it if you won't move. You tell her not to pass it up if, it if it's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. 1985. Julia is sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important for her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. She was found crying in the stairwell. You say maybe you should guys should talk talk to someone about it. You make macaroni, drink wine, and try to forget about it. I mean, gotta get her some help if we can. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they're worried Julia might be suffering from onset early dementia. She's 41. You both decide to keep it a secret for now. <laughs> I 
NSFW. Bucket is getting older. Julia comments that it's kind of nice because she get, he gets in less trouble around the house. A week later, she goes back to the university. Hmm. 1987. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by police. She's devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days, you get that the Julia who calls you a dope and the unborn children little idiots. Other days, you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes, she goes into a panic, believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family they are crushed and begin to make trips to and from her home in Australia to visit her. Their home in Australia. For a while, your friends come by with the little things to brighten her day. She gets worse. Even the music, right? The feels. 1988. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24-hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple of months. Ooh, this one's tough. I mean, if you vet the home, it could definitely alleviate a lot of the emotional stress. But... You were determined to take care of her by yourself. Gorgeous. Look at that. It's like a rolling fog down there. Oh, it's nice. <laughs> Very nice. It is impossibly hard. The worst is when you get mad at her, like when she tries to cook her own food. You can't do anything without her, and she can't do anything without you. When she goes to sleep, you stay up for a few hours drinking on the deck, watching baseball in the summer, college basketball in the winter, drinking then too. You start to go out after you put her to bed. The first time you do it, you worry about her getting up and walking around while you're gone. I mean, I'm a little concerned. You go to the same bar at the boring end of St. Pearl Street. It's nice there. Over time, you tell Sheila, the bartender, everything. It's a huge weight off. You're home and in bed by 1 a.m. a couple nights a week. You look forward to those nights. 1989. One night, you were stopped at a DUI checkpoint. You blow a point ten and are taken to jail for the night. You consider trying to hide it, but you tell your sister-in-law, Susan. Details they go into Julia's parents take up the next plane from Australia. They can't believe the state your house is in. They tell you that Julia is coming to live with them. You don't argue. You say you'll visit soon. A few weeks go by. Summer is coming and you see an ad for a paper. In the paper for a job. You take it. Welcome to Firewatch, everyone. We're to enter a lookout tower now. Look at that place. It's a beautiful game. This is gorgeous. The first boss, that story, that's probably the toughest. But we here. Look at this stuff. Gorgeous intro. I didn't make games pretty like this when I was a kid. I'm pretty sure most of the music is ambient. Not too far off from Far Cry. It's kind of cozy in here. Right? Yeah, there we go. Oh, there we go. And we're in. Um, hello? Who 
whoever this is. It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? <laughs> People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take Looking a stab around. at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I like, sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Alright, so our options are that she's killed three ex-husbands, that she's rebelling against her mom, or that nobody back home can stand her. Okay, you're probably out here because nobody back home can stand you. Which, Go for after this, this brief introduction, is not a big shock. Ouch! Uh, I'll chalk that up to you being tired and grumpy. Well, I'd better get some sleep then. I'll take off. One sec. Now it's my turn. Okay, good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you, but nine times out of ten, sleep. folks out here simply got dumped. Huh, is that it? Close? Good night. <laughs> good night. Welcome to the job. Welcome to the job. How's the volume so far? Can we hear both of the folk? Good morning, Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. <laughs> there we go. We got our radio. So essentially, at any time, I can radio in, talk to, Deli to Del Delilah. That's going to be a tough name for me to say. Words are hard. Um, there's our photo with Julia. I love this photo, too. It's cute. The uh, uh, the flash in, the, in, in, in her face. <laughs> it's well done. Hey, sorry. Guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Ooh. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, six? 6.45. Whoops. Ooh. Don't worry about it. Nice. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Uh, okay, yeah, I see it. A map. This is the Look at that thing. It's a giant compass. Invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne. You use this to spot. You These guessed two are great. it. Five. What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um. You. Uh. You use this to. Oh fuck me. Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Are those fucking fireworks? Whoa. That's not legal, right? Uh, no. You wow. need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. <laughs> like, kick the shit out of them sort of straight? No, 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 no. <laughs> Jesus, no. What? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. Just make sure they don't do it again. Take their shit. All right, fine. Don't feed anyone a knuckle sandwich. <laughs> get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. This game is great. Secure. Shut up. <laughs> uh, the banter is just fantastic. All right, so we're gonna head off too, and we gotta go west. So we, we've got a compass. Don't worry, we've got a compass, and we can run. We got our backpack, and we're looking for a supply thingy. Oh, also, I have a really cool map. Uh, so we're actually going kind of north, north. No, wait, northwest, west. That's the. There we go. Keep running, keep running, keep running. Oh. Uh, one, two, three, four. I love it. 
drops the lock. Now this is this part I thought was really cool. I haven't had too much experience with said game yet. But you can copy the information down. And he literally gets out a pencil and writes down a bunch of information from the map. And then I can snag whatever notes, which this one is... Hey, Ron, hey man. Guy couldn't take it, so I locked up his lookout and put some stuff in the box. Found one of those bars you like, hiking out in the park. Let's get fucked when I'm back. Dave. <laughs> That's fantastic. So back that goes, and then there's the old rope. It's fantastic. And then possibly also, can I have the... People just stuff these things with old food? That's how you <laughs> get bears. Where's that? I'm at the cash box. Right? I want that. Uh, and we're going to say... Ooh, E, just to hold E, but I can examine it. I'm just going to eat that thing. Alright, uh, still west. Uh, yeah, this way. I think? I mean, it's getting louder anyway. I don't think I can do like a Far Cry slide down the hill, but... Alright. Like, look at how pretty all of this is. Oh yeah, there we go. We're definitely getting closer. Right. Ah, the rope hook. Okay. I would have a hard time doing this. Oh, jeez, just tosses it over the side, too. And I'm just going to repel. That's what I'm going to do, because this is Henry, and he can do stuff like this. He has absolutely no problem doing kind of cool things like this. That sounded like he broke stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break oh. anything, did you? Right about there I, I fell? Oh. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. I don't have any reason to to radio, so it doesn't radio, but... Oh, whoa. Hey. Cool. There's bunches of those. I'm going to suggest we don't go down those without a rope. And I think mine just broke, so I think we're good. That's kind of cool to know. Oh, yeah, and then you can see these little... I'm staring at the big outcropping down here. Report Meadow. I'm quite sure where to look for our uh, pyrotechnicians. Mm. Maybe keep heading west toward the lake. Yeah. It's a nice meadow. I like the ambient sounds, the the rustle of leaves. <laughs> Finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, sure am. I would like to retract my statement about knuckle sandwiches. Feed there away. <laughs> the examine is 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 absolutely great in this game. Uh, and then drop. You know what? Fuck it. I'm not the maid. You know what? Fuck it. I'm not the maid. Oh. Well, Henry's gonna he's gonna swear all day. That's good enough. They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. Oh, look. They decided to have a campfire, too. You know, they color-coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? Very nice. Found the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. Ugh. Well, confiscate, confiscate them. Done. What do you know? People with shitty manners drink shitty beer. <laughs> what, you don't like a cold muscle light on a hot day? No, no, I do. But then again, I didn't say my manners were any good. Ooh. These fucking litter bugs, though, that's for sure. They left half a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. Drunk pyromaniacs. Fucking great. Save for later. Done and done. Put that in your pack, buddy. Anything else we can punk? Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Uh, what if they're naked? 
Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. Uh, there are, uh, panties. There are what? He can't say I it. I don't want to say that word again. He can't say Why, it. Why, because you're 12? There's a... Ooh. Yes? There are two naked ladies out here. Can you handle that? Come on. I like naked ladies, same as anyone, but there's... You know... Two? Yeah. I know this will be tough for you, but try to make <laughs> your tongue up off the ground and do your job. Do your job. Okay. I found them in the lake. Skinny dipping? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy dealing with that. Yeah. Well, this isn't going to go well. Uh, oh, I guess I'm I'm replying, but maybe through my radio. You got to take it easy with the fireworks, all right? You ought to take it easy at the Sizzler buffet. <laughs> Chelsea. Jeebus. He's just some loser out in the woods. Jeebus. Why do guys think it's all right to just stare at girls? I know. You don't know a damn thing about me. I'm gonna get mad at them. You know you're a peeping Tom. How long have you been standing over there? Oh my God, is that what you are? Barf me out. Barf me out. Can we just get out of here? Ew, totally. You're gross. You're just right. some. Is that enough? Did I scare them away? Yeah, okay. I think that worked. Well, and alright, so our way back is not with us. So uh, put this away. It's done. Well that's ominous. Hopefully there won't be any more trouble. Good. Thanks for going down there. She sounds genuinely, you know. Genuinely pleased that I'm doing my job. Uh, we can't go back because our rope broke. Uh, so, according to our map, uh, I think it's tough to tell, but if we're just going to follow the river along. Uh, there's a path that then heads south uh, and reconnects. So, I think we're going to shoot for that. It's kind of getting dark, so get our move on here, people. I don't even think I have a light source out here right now. And considering a dude fell halfway down a shale thing, he does these little space bar jumps not too bad. I don't know if I can do that. This is why I play video games. So I don't have to worry about, you know, physicalities. Go Henry, go Henry, go. So, I have a bit of a confession to make. Ooh. What is it? Um, look, I was, I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. <sighs> I know, That's great. I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about, uh, why you're out here and stuff. Pretty good voice acting so far. Yeah, uh, whatever. Well, I'll, um, you know, I'll try to make it up to you. Anyway, <laughs> let me know when you get back to your lookout. This is looking a little... Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. Yeah, I'm not sure I got a lot of choice in getting struck down. Especially not with your electric personality. Ugh. Mm, I see my joke did not spark your sense of humor. Oh, I'm oh, just I let her have that one. Yeah, oh, I wanted to reply. Ah. Uh, I couldn't reply while I was fiddling with a lock. I do like that he noticed I did not catch a reply. Alright. More map. I will take that. Hilarious posters or other things that come up with this, too. 
I get the sense that not everything in here is useful. In the boxes? Why's that? I don't really know what I'll do with the deer horn. Firstly, they're called antlers. And secondly, stay out here long enough and you'll get creative. Ah. Nice. This is one of the first things that I didn't examine on. It's very, very well done. And then I tried to drop it, and I think I chucked it, and it flew clean out of the box. So, bully for me, I made it this time. Oh. Hey, oh, what's in the cave? There we go. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. Oh. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. Used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore nice. it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. The echo is amazing. It doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa! Oh, no! Henry! Seriously, it's completely fine in here. God damn it. Amazing. This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. What? That should be easy. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so... Maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, damn. Yeah, but maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. It's not this one's so close to home and convenient, though. Aw, sorry, Hank. So I kind of like that, like, I can... The little symbol, the eye, is just observation. Uh, the little circle, the double circle, is kind of, you know, plot enhanced. And then there's, like, you know, quip, which shows a cute little radio. So there's good ways to check out what style of reply you're going after. It's kind of nice. Hello? Yeah. Hello? Mm. I don't think I can do that anymore, though. <laughs> Alright, let's get up and out and over and through. Look at how, like, it went from sun, uh, sunset to a really nice starry sky. We'll get our sprint on again. Because of, you know, that thunder. There's some guy out here. Some guy? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I... I don't think so. Henry, mm. there's... there's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's... outside. Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's... it's... it's madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. I can imagine. <sighs> Oof. He jumps like I do. That was not a very big jump, and it took absolutely everything he had to do it. His ability to go up and down like little concrete slabs, though, is kind of awesome. There's a couple of ways up here, I think. Sort of looked like that was one of those kind of logs that you walk across. Not bad, not bad. Like a pretty chill game so far. I kind of like the idea of just walking through a very, very pretty forest. Did a great job on this. Look at that sun. Oh, look at that sun. <laughs> okay, he does that a little better than I. I don't think I can climb invisible rocks with the same poise that Henry can. Yeah, I think I also could have come up that way. It's not bad. Quite the bit of rock climbing it. Uh, like, that, that right there alone would take a good amount of physicality. And then the depth to do another one right here. Right away. 
This is arguably way worse than stairs. Jeez. Uh, well, that trail isn't closed anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, I took care of the blocked path. Um, it was <laughs> backbreaking, but you know, anything for the service. There we well, go. Thank you. Anytime. And then that looks like my tower. And this looks like a sign. Beartooth Point Thoroughfare. Oh. Good stuff. Ah. Whoa. Yeah. That's amazing. Um, so it's uh, just the outhouse then, in terms of going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, number one at Lovely. least. And uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. Full disclosure. Well, thank you. I don't think I'm going to bother with the outhouse. So this generator is all the power I've got out here. Yep, it doesn't go through much gas, and, well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so... What about my hairdryer? Oh, I'm sorry. You might just have to make peace with frizzy locks. I could never. Yeah, they're starting to warm up to each other, right? It's really cute. It's really cute. Like, it's only been, what, like an hour? This is definitely not what you're after. Uh... What can I do for you? Well, my typewriter is on the ground, outside of my tower. You right? Yeah, look, uh, the wind? No. How the hell... You should get inside. Fuck me. I'm not dropping this, I'm taking it with. Uh... Someone broke in. They what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. I just threw on the floor. Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. My thermos looks fine. Well, that's all right. Oh, manly thermos. Unbelievable. I really wish drop meant, oh, put back. Okay, good. Meant that I didn't have to just, you know. The place is trash. Okay, I put in a call. That was fast. Yeah, well, do you have any idea who could have done this? They didn't take Julius' photo anyway. Maybe that guy I saw in the canyon, but I don't know why the fuck he'd want to mess with my stuff. Sons. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a man hiking on his own and question him if they find him. <sighs> hey, I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about <laughs> bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some deranged hiker going after lookouts? Great. Uh, okay, in the morning I'm gonna call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. Try, trying to pick up after the place. I need you to feel but... safe out here. Don't worry about it. Oh, you can protect yourself, huh? I just don't worry about it. Perfect. Keep that attitude up and you'll have an excellent summer. Day two. Jeez. They tossed my place. What a crappy day one. Wake up. <laughs> oh, there's my whiskey too. Can we have that for hey, breakfast? Wake up. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. Hmm. Sorry, our problem. That hmm. storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. There's no backup? The backup is the two-day hike out of here. Oh. So, that's a no? It's easier for me to send all the lookouts out to check the status of the wire in their areas. Yours right. is a good Even the one away. right by the bed. If you find any portion Just of it tossed. down, I can try to get a hold of a ranger, and he'll bring someone in to fix it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're going to want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Nice. Will do. Thanks, Hank. It's Henry. 
What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But Hank's rhymes with Hank. Mm, no, it doesn't. Okay, all right. <laughs> I think I grab my pack as I go to the door. Good stuff. And over the... No, wait, we don't do that. Still have my flashlight. <clears throat> Still don't bump my head on that. Gorgeous game. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, so, survey communication lines north of the canyon. So we need to go back up this way. I think this is as far as I played in my own... In my own one. Uh, I feel like I'm going to be murdered when I'm in the outhouse. Feeling a little exposed, are we? Hey, no man in the history of the world has felt tough with his pants around his ankles. That's awesome. Well, be strong. You can always call if you're having trouble. Mm, sure, I'll do that. Alright. Oh. Wow. He's way more agile than I've got. I don't think my ankles could handle that. Alright, so let's head down. We're going to go down the easy way this time. I feel like that's why there's two ways. So you'd pick like one on the way up and one on the way down. It makes for... like That's the way like a natural trail would kind of go anyway. It's really well done. Do my little jump. Drop down the little thingy. Lots of winding path to get you down here, right? And then... Oh, that fog is so good. Yep. Oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Uh, you know, boring if you don't ski. We used to go to this bar called the Dollar, though. I love that oh, place. Oh, wow. Oh, wait, is that down on Pearl? They have all the money pinned to the ceiling? Yeah, that's it, yeah. <laughs> I love that bar. Why don't you go anymore? I just don't. Fair enough. <laughs> hey, can you hold on a sec? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Just run on the spot, maybe? Hey, yo. I don't think so. Why, have you? Mm. Okay, good. No, I don't think he has any idea. Oh. I'm absolutely sure. Would you? Oh. It is hunkered right. down. Right. I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, if there's anyone or anything you want to talk about, fire away. Fire away, indeed. Who was that? Who was who? Ooh, I, I don't yes. think he has any idea. What What was that? Were you talking about me? It's going to uh, be like bold. What? You left your button pressed or something. Henry, that call was work. I was just talking to... Actually, it's not really your business. Why are you yeah. freaking out? He's going to be I'm a badass about out. it. Good. I'm gonna go quiet for a little bit. Call me if it's important. Yeah, he got, he got like, hey. Can't get into this place. You know, she had a very hushed tone. It's definitely a challenge. Uh, communication lines north? All right. I think at this point, Hank wouldn't necessarily be as interested in talking about Julia quite yet. Maybe, but maybe not. I'm trying to keep my eyes open because, like, so far, 
everything is going to be like hard surprise, right? Like the, this game could throw almost anything at me. It's been a little bit ominous so far. Ooh. Whoa! Unbelievable brick house. Welcome with your party of How is it going? Oh, look at all. Look at all. Look at all of those raid emotes flying up the screen. How was your night? How was your night? You looked amazing running around in French fry, by the way. Uh, was Fall Guys lit? How was it going? How was it going? Oh! A bitch cheer! Rick House. I bet your night was amazing. Oh, oh, oh. Where's, was it Fall Guys all night? I, like, you, you seem like you're having a lot of fun with that one. That's a fun game to watch. Uh, I don't know if it's my kind of game to play. I, like, the Rage Induce would be, like, crazy good. Uh, everybody, I'm Edge of the Freak. I play story mode style kind of games. Uh, late at night. Welcome, welcome. We're playing some Firewatch tonight. Game crashed a little. Yeah. Well, they're newish and they're doing their best, right? But wow, what a, what a, what a game. What a game. That's pretty cool, man. It was pretty cool. I'm glad that you had a pretty good night, though. That's, that's good. That's good. That's good. Yeah. So far, I'm going in completely blind. I've got a, a Discord channel set up for spoilers if anybody wants to chit chat about it. Um, but, uh, actually, hold on a second. Do I even have a, I got a handful of commands. Um, so we're just enjoying, what are we on, day two or something like that? And I just, I just pissed off Delilah. I said stuff and she was all like, hey, look, I got to go for a sec. So, uh, strap in everybody. We're doing up some firewatch. We're going to see if we can watch some fire. So far, we've only seen fireworks. It was all right. We did okay with it. How's everybody's weekend? Was it good? Was it lots of fun? I don't even know if I can radio stuff in just yet, but I'm enjoying the morning fog. Uh, when I used to go to high school way back, way back, uh, there was a valley I used to get to pass through that had this kind of a morning fog to it, so I know what Henry has to go through to come on in. Welcome all raiders, welcome. You guys are lots of, you guys are lots of fun. Welcome to the party. I'm like, look at how pretty this is. Ooh, utility pole? I can read you. Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. Well, follow hey. it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. Work mostly, but it was all right. Hey, that's all right. That's all right. Um, if you don't mind me asking, what's your job? What do you do? Do you have like a taxing job or do you have a job that you enjoy? About half my jobs have been awesome. The other half have been a little bit like, yeah, right, right. So we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Just seems dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out. Mm. But I'd rather so. it not come to that. Hi, ah, it's a job you work at a liquor store? That's not bad. That's not bad. Liquor stores here are um uh like heavily unionized and uh I uh, they're they're decent, but I think that management kinda can take the job for granted, if you will, and that sort of stuff. Uh, so I've heard that they can sometimes be awesome and sometimes be just terrible, depending upon which one you're working at, those sort of stuff, so. do 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 Oh, The scenery in this game is just incredible. I'm just, I'm just loving it. And I like the voice acting so far, too. The voice acting would be all right. There's a, a liquor store here in town that's in one of the tougher neighborhoods, and uh, <clears throat> when you go into that one versus when you go into the more affluent neighborhoods, you actually get like a real communication from some of the folk. And so whenever I would have to like return empties or pick up stuff, uh, I would for the most part shoot for uh, going into the more uh, real employee kind of a neighborhood rather than going into the place that is, you know. So I, I always found that that was a, an interesting take, especially at a liquor store, that they, you know, already maybe has to have to deal with a certain clientele especially during the daytime or what have you but nope they actually look you right in the eye have a good conversation with you uh so i'm following this and yeah yeah dr pork chop uh this is an awesome game so far oh hey 
Well, I probably can't report that just yet, but do I? That's far. Let's get our hoof on, people. And see if we can report other cool things. I kind of like talking to Delilah. I sort of wish I didn't really peeve her off. You know, that sort of thing. Uh, I guess we'll go around. Oh, there's one of my little lockbox thingies. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. Maybe we'll get another antler. Report it yet? Still can't? Okay. Let's get in there. Let's get in there. Well, so far, my job wasn't entirely affected uh, yet by the pandemic. Uh, I am a stay-at-home dad to a three-year-old. And Russell's in the bushes, maybe? Um, so for the most part, my job got to just be still entertaining my boy. And then I still get to do this at night. What's in the box? Survey says... I also love getting the maps. I think that's my favorite part. I love the idea you get out a golf pencil and everything. It's pretty cool. Oh, yes. I wonder if we could take that with us. Right? Oh. More Dave and Ron conversations. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Dave. Hey, oh. I got your note about needing to talk and sorry I didn't need to, tr sorry I didn't track you down. I've uh, been looking for you all day. Figured you'd be out near the canyon helping those grad students, but I guess not. Don't even know uh, how I could really help anyway. We're co-workers, you know, amigos, professionals. If you need someone to throw back a case with and go time traveling, Ron's your guy, but I'm not really great for life stuff. You get it? <laughs> Thanks, Ron. Thanks. Uh, board? Oh. Let's uh, drop this. What is that? Ooh. We got different books and stuff. Detective Neil Black told himself he'd never visit Australia, but when a grisly murder in South City leads all the way to... I wonder if this has anything to do... Can I, can I keep this? No? Interesting that there'd be a hidden panel underneath it, though. And then you can always just pick up the pine cones. I'm not entirely sure why. You know, pine cones are lit. Oh, and then there's the note. Oh, I can actually... Can I Can I talk to about the note? <laughs> Report note between Ron and Dave. <laughs> hey, who are these guys, Ron and Dave? They're leaving notes for each other in the boxes. Is there any chance one of them was that guy I saw in the canyon? You know, the guy with the yeah, flashlight? Good call. No, they're both rangers. They're not out here this season. I didn't really know them that well, but I always assumed the only thing Ron cared about was chasing tail and getting loaded. It's somehow comforting like to it. know that he was able to keep up a correspondence with someone who wasn't going to send him a topless Polaroid. <laughs> also, let's talk about a turtle. Whoa, I, uh, I found a turtle. Maybe it's a, a tortoise. It's a thing with a shell. Well, isn't that something? It's actually pretty cute. Oh, well, diggity. Well, Henry, if you decide you want it to keep you company, nobody will mind. Now, what do He's I probably going to bite me. Looks like a, uh, hmm... Oh, this ought to be good. Shelly Duvall. There we go. Ah, Shelly. I see what you did there. Very nice. She's uh, she's dainty, yet powerful. Well, I loved her in Shining. <laughs> <laughs> and then it says Shelly Duvall now. That's uh, kind of awesome. Uh, anyway. Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Really? Awesome. Good find. It's like, I don't know, a mile and a half east of me. You just follow the trail up the hill, you can't miss it. I'll go see what the damage is. Hmm. Well, why would I offer that? How the heck far do I get up there? Uh, not likely this way. Um. Dude. Why would you offer that? Does my map know things? No, I... Kinda zoom in? Yeah. Alright, well then maybe... <laughs> Nothing in the box was helpful. 
out around there. Long drop down. Oof. That, my ankles get a little bit twingy whenever he does that. I don't, I don't know. Urgh. Yeah, so far, this is very, very nice. Oh, hey. More, more red eagle. Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before? Yep. These fucking kids. How could these girls be so stupid? <sighs> Trust me, I never underestimate the stupidity of a drunk teenager. Also, I never underestimate the balls of a drunk young woman, having been one. <laughs> Amazing. There's a utility pole. Can't really say anything about it. Let's run on up. All the partying, man. No. Oh. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I Go knew it. To the hell? you said you found their trash. <sighs> These idiots are going to yeah. pay. Do they That's realize sketch. this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And right? God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. Ooh. I, I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Mm. I like sure. her. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, nice. I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm, I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. Jeez. going to need a raise. <sighs> don't yeah. hold your breath. I'd start um, by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Oh, they're big into Red Eagle. Yeah. Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they oh, looped yeah. back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. Well, I hopped down a drop, and now I can't climb back up. Yeah. Mm, that is a pickle. I, mean, I can just keep hiking, but I figured I should let you know in case I get myself trapped out here. Well, hopefully that doesn't happen before you find these assholes. I was thinking you should probably head back to where you saw him last. And maybe go this way? No. Doesn't really change my trajectory a lot. What about here? No, he doesn't want to go up or around over that either. Alright. Shimmy up the utility pole? What do you think? I don't think he's that level agile. Around. No. Find the teens. That doesn't sound crazy or anything. Come on. To Thoroughfare Lookout? Jeez, are we taking off? Because, like, I live way south of here. Um... Kind of doesn't look like I can head that way. This is all, like, Hank, don't go up that rock kind of rock. Oh, I can come down this side of it, though. Oh, there we are. Intrigue and beer cans. Right? Red Eagle. Apparently it's garbage. Um, they're likely that way. Yeah, let's let's put them through a bit of a workout, shall we? Get them all the way down there. Boofed. Partly because in real life, I cannot do this. Alright. It's all spooky the way there's no music, too. 
I usually prefer that in games, but like... Supply drop, Jonesy Lake, Two Forks. Okay, so that's where I'm looking to go. Oh, more stuff. Okay, down. More of these long drops. I gotta tell you, all this climbing and jumping, it's pretty invigorating. Just wait for the rest of the summer when you'll be sitting on your fat ass 14 hours a day. Hmm. Can you promise that? Because so far I've been here for three days and it's been one hell of a workout. Two and including, like, jeez. No thank you. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's mm. not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, oh. you could always pilfer it for supplies. Done. Oh, Brian Goodwin's backpack. There we go. Oh, Binary Sage, welcome. Hey, there's a camera. Well, that's not too bad. Well, and Firewatch indeed. With ropes now. That pack nice. was full of them, in decent condition too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up. I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard nice. single-use cameras. With pictures left. Yeah, he only used three or four. Oh. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name yeah, Brian right. Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. Wow. Was he a ranger or something? Mm. Oh, no, no. He was stationed in Two Forks, near lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? No. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway okay. through the summer. <sighs> what, they couldn't uh, handle your unique brand of charm? Amazing. How many can? Unsurprising. Anyway, so it goes. Delilah. Have uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a photodome employee. I don't know, I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Hey. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Hey, well, at least she's back. I didn't piss her off too much. And Sage, you finally found your replacement audio equipment, finished off one of the ten things on your to-do list for the month of August. That is amazing. Kicking the crap out of your to-do list is just awesome, isn't it? And we... Oh, we have not been here. Okay. I guess we're, we're in entirely new territory, aren't we? Uh... I wonder if giant spiders are going to come out of here at some point. I fully expect that there will be giant spiders. I will love that. And let's get a map. Oh, yeah. Photo dome place for photos and they stuffed it with. Dave, guess who's going out with Debbie next week? No, not that shit. Heel Steve. It's your man, Ron. I went to check on the new guy at Two Forks and heard him talking to himself more than usual for lookouts. Uh, so I figured I'd stay away. Remember when you saw Chimney Rock having him... Chimney Rock having himself in that hammock? Starting to think that Forest Service only picks up the deranged and perverted. Except for us, of course. We're the creme de la creme. Let's toast a Deb at the spot. I'm not taking your note, Ron. A loose stone? Yeah. Look at that thing. That's, um... To be honest, that's crafted. Well done. Uh, oh. Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Okay. Could be the same person who left that antler. And maybe they're leaving me an entire creature, piece by piece. <laughs> that's amazing. Disposable camera. I haven't seen one of those things in years. Alright. Well, let's head back towards... We're still heading back towards our place, right? Whoa. I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? Yeah. You think it's them? I reckon so. It looks right. like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. 
If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep an eye well. on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. Mm. Mm. And the voice acting is incredible. The scenery is just impressive. Even the flowers and shite. I'm having I haven't a hell seen of a time an animal. This fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Excuse me, flapjack. <laughs> you know, like a loser, a chotch. I chotch. really don't, but I do now. Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. Brilliant. Hey, flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? There we it's go. It's beautiful. You sound badass, Hank. Um. My plume of smoke went away? I was to report if it got hey, bigger. Sorry about snapping at you earlier. Um, I thought about it and... Yeah, I suppose that must have sounded kind of weird when you heard me take that cool. other call. Plus, you're just out here in your own head. Trust me, I know well, how it is. Yeah, lady. So, did you break any hearts back in Colorado when you took this job? I myself have chosen to never get attached to anyone who would miss me, but <laughs> I know I'm a bit of an outlier. Wait, I don't mean that the way it sounds. I mean, I care about wow. people, and I like companionship as much as the next person. <laughs> but why does it have to come from the same person for your whole life? <laughs> just my Aunt sometimes. Kathy was married to the same guy for four decades, and when he died, she found out he'd been having an affair with a real estate broker for 15 years. Whereas my Aunt Judy traveled I think I have to cut her off. and musicians as she saw fit. <laughs> Call me crazy, but I'd rather spend the week in bed with Sonny Bono than half a lifetime with some cheating stockbroker. I'm actually married. But you're here. Cut her off right in there. Oh, shall we go in? She's sick, and I shouldn't be here, but I am. Yeah. I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Cool. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Like, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. Uh, <clears throat> find a source of the smoke. I feel like I'm, like I'm heading south. Okay. All right. I don't see anything reportable though, and my thin plume went away, right? So. Oh no, there it is. There it is. There's my thin column of smoke. You think he'd be a little bit concerned about these, considering the first one that he used didn't do me well. Hey. Down, down. I've mentioned before I'm using video games to help me get over my Oh, to get over my fear of heights. Uh repelling isn't something I've I've done. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. I'm on top of a natural bridge out here. Really? Is it a complete arch? Uh no, I guess the bridge is out here. Still, I think I could jump this gap to get across the canyon. Wow, well, you're a regular evil Knievel. Oh yeah, you should see the jumpsuit I'm wearing. Oh yeah. <laughs> Cannot believe you would do that. Just volunteers to do that. No thank you. Alright, thin column of smoke indeed. Let's get up. So far, we haven't watched a lot of fire, though. Watched a lot of beer cans. Alright, let's hoof it. A bit more climb going. I think my smoke should be just... Oh. That was music change. My smoke is there. I also had a game save. Oh, my gamer senses are tingling.
go slower. We're gonna get the ghost of someone, and it's gonna be scary. Can I not climb up that? No? Okay. Beautiful scenery. Another long drop. Do it! What are we looking to do here? Medicine wheel. Alright, we're thin column of smoke, indeed. I mean, I guess we should be looking for these. That's how you know you're heading towards the plot point. Also, I'd like to know more about. Oh, we've been to this one. Okay. Nice. This is the one near home. Oh. Thin column of smoke. It's cool that they keep that, you know, front and center-ish. What does she have? She's got Alzheimer's. Like, um, dementia. Whoa. Mm -hmm. How old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with yes. her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's 43. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? Devastating, especially for her, you can understand. And for you. Anyway, everything she worked for was taken away, and Yeesh. that was it. Talk about yeah. this. I'm sorry to be such a downer. Yeah, don't, dude. Don't, don't, don't even. I'm happy to listen. Go. And, you know, we'll try to have some fun this summer. I promise. I'm back at the shale slide. You know, the one that nearly killed me yesterday. <laughs> you ready to give it another shot? Do I seriously have to? To get down to Five Mile Creek? Yeah, afraid so. It's quite a ways downhill from here. Well, yeah, uh, look at that. Uh, indeed. Well, let's hope that we've got a, a nicer rope. What's his name with the backpack? That's not worse or anything, right? Okay, rappel indeed. Are we good? This is probably the biggest one, right? Sweet. Hey, that means we should be able to get back at some point. That's all right. Thin, thin column of smoke, still good. Oh, yeah, there's a rope hook for down there. Am I looking to do that? That's Jonesy Lake. Yeah, campfire smoke. We're looking to go... Uh, south. So, yeah, we are looking to take this one. What a lucky find, that backpack. Jeez. <laughs> you get an okay amount of look around too while you're doing the rappel if you want. Beautiful. Another save moment. Gamer sense is tingling. It's gonna turn into crisis and I'm gonna have to fight some beast or something. And I like games where, like, I'm clearly being led on a breadcrumb, but it's so wide open and pretty that you don't you don't feel so, quite as much. How'd you meet? Met in a bar. Mm, the birthplace of modern romance. I walked <laughs> over and asked her what her major was because I thought she was a student, not a prof. Smooth. Yes. That's me. I did make the first move, though. Oh, hey. you were brave. I was drunk. That's what it takes. Mmm. Mitch Michaels, 31, 62, 165, short brown. Hair, distinctive facial hair. Ooh. Uh, last seen July 3rd, 81. Reported missing July 29. So now, last location Jonesy Lake. Oh, okay. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? 
More than none, mm -hmm. unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins, and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin yeah. didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a ptsd a hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. Mm hmm. <laughs> Chris, Lee's won't, kill Chris Lee's won't kill an a hole. They don't have a taste for unapologetic <laughs> pricks. Nope. It's why we haven't lost a ranger in 11 years. So, you don't think anything bad happened to those guys? Yeah, I guess it's possible, but we usually find evidence of stuff like that. For instance, Fair. if you were to be hunted down and torn to shreds, I'm sure someone would come across a bloody beard and shredded pair of ugly cargo shorts. I like these Fantastic. shorts. I'm sure you do, Henry. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I yeah. think that's mm -hmm. where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? Whoa. That's kind of cool. I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, mm. even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? <laughs> also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Yeah. Well, looky, looky. We found ourselves a stream. We're doing great. And it's super pretty out here. Head towards the, like, wide open. Uh, where am I? Ah, uh, I want to be heading more north-ish. Okay. Uh, no big, no big. We'll head this way. Ooh, there's something. Yeah. Something indeed. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Even those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. It's been there a while, Teach. I'll keep looking around. Probably can't go up the waterfall. Can we go maybe around it? Yeah, we go. Here we go. A little bit more northish. I think. Yeah, good stuff. Hey. I see a campsite, and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? No, it seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. <laughs> Track them down, and don't let them see you. What a job this is. I'm kidding. Dude, you are getting paid lots, right? These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Keen zone. Well, they're impressive little shits, I and guess. dangerous that hunks? Some dedication. Well, I found some dangerous hunks. What? On Earth, are you? <laughs> it's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. I have entered the teen zone. Oh, really? And that is so that? terrible. It's another one of those magazines. Oh boy! No, maybe I'll take report. one of their sleeping bags as payback. At this stage, take whatever you want. The tent looks like it's been through the shredder. Which yeah, this would explain that scrap I found. What could have done that? Like a like a bear or um I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it did not hold back. You've got well, that camera, right? It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah, yeah. good thinking. I'm kinda glad I didn't just rip through the whole camera already. I have uh, considered just taking of their nature. Are all torn up. Uh that's not good. Dear Psycho. Dear Psycho, I hope you're fucking happy we're leaving and you're gonna we're gonna find the police uh, or whatever and tell them about it. You creeped us out of the lake and then came and destroyed our campsite and all our stuff and stealing our panties is gross out. <laughs> Probably a mental fucking murderer uh, and are so going to jail. I hope it's worth going. Wow. Okay. Uh, we're gonna keep that. Uh, we're gonna report that. Oh, they're gone for sure. How can you tell? Well, the girls left someone 
me, I guess, a note. Well, what's it say? Yeah, um... They're threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my gosh, well, uh, did you? Look, I didn't do anything to them. But it yeah. looks like someone had it out. Stealing their booze, I don't care. Then why do they think it's you? Jeez. Fuck, I don't know. Huh. Hey, I yeah, don't. Dudes. I believe you. Come on, Henry. All right. All right, it's just, it's weird what happened out here. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be well, other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start logic. enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, lots of. Uh... Day two was awesome. Holy craze. Find boards downstairs to patch window. So many broken hey, window bits. Yeah. Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. <laughs> I could be Tom Cruise's good-looking twin brother. Oh, there we go. Bad. I read in people he's like five foot nothing. Yeah, well, you can't win them all. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Pegging me already. Tuxedos as often as possible. Oh, really? You bet. How cosmopolitan. I didn't realize Boulder was so chic. It is the peak of high society. Mm, good to know, Dale, yes. Now tell me about your face. Oh, nice. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh, There's anything in here for me to pick up. There we go. I'm gonna tell her I have a thick uh, beard. Pretty thick beard. Oh, Tom Cruise's have you always twin. had a beard? For a while, yeah. All right, perfect. Hmm. I want to know about your eyes. Get wow. out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Your what? Is is that okay? Uh. Don't don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes. Tell me. Steely. Oh, I'm tired. They look tired, I think. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> I'm totally yeah, you tired. know, you hit a certain age and you just... You think you're a younger person who just looks tired all the time. <laughs> Speak for yourself, mister. But I guess that's getting old. Well, some people might see distinguished. Okay, oh, thank got you. it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? <laughs> Absolutely. Get to fixing my window yet? <laughs> Should drink that whiskey soon. <clears throat> I also don't know how many windows I need to fix. I got that window all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, Watch you've fire. You've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and, uh, I'll give it to you. <laughs> Let's look around for a little tiny bit. Like, do we want to have some whiskey? Do we want to sit, write some more book? Do we want to, like, check out my mug? Look at that. It's got coffee stains and everything on it. That's fantastic. I will put you back. Hey, where did my photo of Julia go? Do I still have that? Is that... Because I kind of noticed it's not on my desk anymore. It used to sit right there. Um... Oh. Uh... There. Can we put it back? Back? No? I can just drop it. Do I drop it? Oops. Drop. 
<laughs> Apparently he's not too interested anymore. Hey, there we go. That actually kind of looks nice. Uh, what else do we even really have? We don't spend a lot of time here. Glass cleaner, old Scottish oil soap, uh, supplies for two forks, cool. Nothing really, oh, there's that poster of trees and flowers and stuff. There's not a whole lot to, uh, I mean, maybe some of these things, rags, a jawbone of something. Oh, yeah, that's not weird. Uh, seriously, though. <laughs> Continue to save for later. I'll just carry it around. There, ready to work. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total it's destruction. A, it's a good job. I am glad to hear you <clears throat> really thought this through. <laughs> I love these replies. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. I mean, it's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a that chair splinter in my thigh this morning. Can I sit in this chair Aww. instead? Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. Wow. Day nine, peeps. Beautiful. Hello, Henry. That Having a nice afternoon? I might never leave. Well, uh, I called with some bad news. Oh. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily uh -huh. McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then... You're probably the last person to have seen them. And then I took their note. I didn't do anything to them. What about their camp? That wasn't me. You know that. Don't get defensive. Right. Look, it's Dude. not going to be an issue. Uh, I, mean, I flame a little bit on, on the edge. Then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? Ideally? Yeah, don't. Yeah, that's what Maybe I was thinking. Point. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. I mean, I saw them from a very far distance. It's not like, you know. Ooh, day 15. Happy two weeks. Henry. Henry, wake up. Mm-mm. Get out of bed and pick up the radio. Ooh, that's serious. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. Whatever. Hi, Jules. Oh, you sound tired. Oh, I am. Uh, Are you having a nice time? Is this is this not weird? Yeah, <laughs> it's good here. It's beautiful, you know. She's got the radio on. Off. That's great, Henry. Really great. Well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. Mm, okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm. Sure. Correct. Bye, baby. That was definitely strange. And then two more weeks go by. Is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand-delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90-degree heat, and <laughs> I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find the supply okay. drop, remember yeah. it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. Mm. Fair. There should be loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. Yes. She's, like, really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. 
<laughs> that was a little out of left field, Delilah, but thank you so, for sharing. So, like, two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night. You were sleeping, I guess, and all yeah. I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation, and I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to yeah. her. Yeah. I am. Good. I'm glad. Deflecting. Oh, uh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> I was with this Here guy. Here she comes. Javier. Oh, he's and we're gonna get to learn about caring, her. sexy as hell. Um, he was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wow. wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. Yeah, I have whiskey. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette, and... For some reason, I didn't come home. Whoa. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came oh. out here. I lied and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. So, I lied to you. I came out here with a broken heart just like you. Damn. I figured you've told me so much about you. So, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. Hey, supply cash. Found the supplies. Oh, good. Uh, enjoy. <laughs> Done. I love the one, two, three, four. Oh, cool. Food for the other work uh, lookout. All right, I got everything I need out of here. I probably could take out. all the supplies if I wanted. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? Day sixty-four. Jumps by though. Jumps by. It's like time is is doubling. What? Front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, it's really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. Whoa. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? Uh, maybe we <laughs> call it the Flapjack Fire. Can you sell that as a name? There we go. You really like that, huh? Yeah, I said I did. It's funny. Fair enough. Flapjack fire it is. They'll probably ask me if it was a camp cooking accident or something. So there's this creek down the hill. Wow. And, um, you know what we just watch the fire? Is? We're actually watching fire. What's that? I love I to take a bottle one. of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. Ooh. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. That's clever. I learned that from my sister, That's Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. <laughs> You'd like it there. Ooh. We can drop a I would if I was with you. I've had one too many bad experiences oh. with tequila. A little reticent to try it again. Maybe you just need a new good experience. I'm getting very flirty. Uh, yeah, maybe. Are you looking at the fire? Yeah, I am. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. Yeah. Hmm. -hmm. I'm glad you're here. Me too. Good. It's a nice. I don't talk to the other too. lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in 
the same way. Seven as I, I hear there. Probably been a while since you've connected with someone the way we have. Mm -hmm. I don't heavy, mean to get all heavy, but it's been really nice. I wish I was over there. Ooh, getting really flirty now. I wish you were too. <gasps> we could sit outside. We could talk. Right? Radios. We could, um, Welcome to the stream, Seven Isaiah. You know. What? What could we do? We gotta be quick on the replies. Let me tell you. Day 76. She claims she can You're see me. Fishing from here, right? without a license? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. Amazing. No. I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. That reminds me, cool. I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Huh. Problem bear? Fuck that. I am of the opinion that they are all problems. <laughs> he's on, he's smart. I, think I remember how to get the Jones I I'm gonna leave this planet as a pile of bear shit. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. How do I pick that up? How do I get close enough to pick that up? Someone left their clipboard out here. Huh? Well, it could have been one of the fish and game folks. See if there's a name or a credential or something. I can call it in. Uh, maybe I put this away. Ah. Oh. Let's see. What? The, uh, it's. Holy shit! Whoa. What's going on? You didn't actually find a bear, did you? Someone has written down what we said to each other. Have been saying. Whoa! That yeah, indeed. Make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. No way. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Henry, I'm worried. We're going to keep this. You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. Regardless, Ooh. just let me know, okay, Bucker? <laughs> Are you there? What God, happened, that's Henry? I holy hell, I just I got hit in the head, punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. Yeah. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard <laughs> with what? Transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone. Along with a radio of theirs. You know, somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I I, I... I... I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold-cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Uh... Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's... It's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's mm. north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll... Uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God... Damn it, my head. Are you, that way or that way? Are you sure you saw what what you saw, Henry? Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. This just oh, this just seems like a like a misunderstanding or something. There are people listening to our conversations. Right? The person They've got their own radio. We're hiding in the bushes down here. What the fuck, D? I don't know, Henry. This sounds crazy. Yeah, and you're not the one who just saw our words on a clipboard out in in the middle of nowhere. Those words were from two weeks ago. I know they were. So what's to say that they don't oh, have transcripts from Cotton? three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Someone Jeebus. is out here with a walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who. 
like currently. I'll hike out there and get some answers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's take this into our own hands, Pete. Just keep a clear head. Don't, you know, do anything crazy. Like taking a job in the middle of nowhere with literally no escape from whatever or whoever is out there? Well, I meant, like, kill anybody. You got it, boss. I'll try not to kill anybody, but geez. Cold cocked and the rando like this? That's not going to work. And yeah, no fireworks, indeed. But more Ron. Got some bad news back home, so hopefully they'll let me out of here for a while. Who's to say? Though budgets being what they are. Did you get my note? Uh, what went down with Wapiti? Sheriff isn't too pleased with me, but I don't know. Probably overdid it. Wish you would have been here. I guess you would have... I guess you must have got hung up. P.S. He goes to Spanish and professionalities as a town. <laughs> and what's with all the books? The books are crazy. Um, cause like I'm curious if the plots for those books has anything to do with stuff. And I guess I can't get much on the cans. Old sweater, can't even radio it. Can't even take it. Okay, well we're fine. <clears throat> Uh, and we are to go to Wapiti Meadow, which is possibly Wapiti Station. So we go northeast-ish. So this way. I think. Yeah. Out there, peeps, let's do. We gotta find stuff out. We got just over another. We got just a bit more than a half hour left of stream. Let's see what other sort of great plot moments we can find out of this. This is great. I guess this doesn't quite count as our regular uh, story game, but it's still quite the story game. Very pretty. I'll probably just keep saying that, but it's very pretty. No, no. R report fence? Report oh, fence. Delilah, there's a big chain link fence between me and the meadow. I, I don't think I can get past it. Uh, a fence? Yeah. How big? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. But what the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes no. biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but that's not only a, a chain few square feet usually. That's not what this is. <sighs> we'll see what you can do to get past it. Mm. And what are the odds they left the gate unlocked? Pretty low, I'd imagine. That's a lot of shove. I don't think it's going. Look, I'm not going to be able to get into this place. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Jeez. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, mm. that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. Done and done. Uh, so... Where? <laughs> I hit my map. I don't think it was... Oh, whoa. Scout camp way up by Ruby. That's far. Seriously, though. And then what about that? I guess that just shows Wapiti. I can't see any sort of a station through it. Let's head back maybe this way. For controlled burn south of Ruby River. Okay, past Cottonwood Creek. Oh yeah, that's even like way past my own my own place. Wow, this is far. I 
especially because I'm going to be going up a bunch of these guys. Eek. So we're essentially going to be traveling like south, east, east for a while. Okay. No worries. I feel like something is going to happen instead. running right through the bush. No big. I didn't just recently get accosted in the by randos, but you know. Oh, or get stuck. No, okay. I think was it around the lake? It was the way around this, right? Well perhaps not. Hmm. Oh, okay, so just a bit north of me, and then I can go up and around. Here? Oh, like here? That's not a way through, though, so probably... Okay, this is kind of back where we go. Pretty butterfly. Yeah, so we're like... I'm wandering around east of the lake. Which way is Ruby River? It's in the southeast corner of your map. <clears throat> the scout camp where the firefighters were staged should be on your map. It looks like a little triangle with a flat bottom. Yeah, it looks mm. like a tent. How did I never see that before? Phenomenal. I love the trolling that goes on back and forth. Uh. So, do I want to travel the. Probably not south, right? I just want to continue this way. Hey, I called around. Things seem normal with everyone else. Has anything strange been happening on your end? No, nothing really. Nothing really, or nothing? Right, nothing. Then. My door was open the other night, but that's not strange. That doesn't sound like nothing. That doesn't it's sound like nothing. nothing, I promise. Gee, your door right. was open? I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Your door was okay. open? Lose my shit if my door was open. Hey, what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground. Kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Maybe intercepting our frequency right? with other radios or something. Sounds like it. Henry. It's just a thought. I, I don't even know how you would do that. Yeah, well, you sound worried. No. I'm not, okay? Let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Whatever you say, boss. Uh, I'm gonna take this south path, I think. I know we don't know what's going on yet, but I don't have a good feeling. I don't like feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the good ones. It just struck me that hmm. if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian, just how scared he would have been. Right? I'm sure he's fine, Delilah. I mean, don't you think if this started just happening to them, he or his dad would have said something? I don't know. Ned, Ned was a weird guy. Now you tell me this. is that weird. The moment you hear someone in the bushes or get punched from the shadows, you're getting your boss on the phone. Yeah. Yeah. Brian is fine. I hope so. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Wow, 
wow, there's an old, um, I think it's called a medicine wheel out here? Yeah, it was made by Crow American Indians hundreds wow. of years ago. There are lots of small ones. Um, have you ever been to Medicine Wheel Monument over in the Bighorns? Okay. No, I sure haven't. Well, it's worth a three-hour detour on the way home in August. <laughs> right. I'll keep it in mind. Done. Uh, okay, so now we want to continue uh, east. Maybe? Can I, can I get down through here to Ruby River? Oh, maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Nice. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning well, up. Look at all this forks. cotton, too, right? There's someone in it. Well, Pollen I'm of extra sorts. appreciative of that. Let's see. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Right? Someone gets fired. Ugh, are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. <laughs> That's amazing. Fired. I kind of... Ooh, this one's backwards? I feel like somebody's figured out the... the supply crate thing. map. I really hope they don't take my map. I've been jotting so much crap down. All of the books. Are they all Richard Sturgeon books? Right? Like it's, it, this is, I, I swear, somebody is leaving these books instead. But I'm not really great at that level of the info on that and like you know correlating i like to just buy it hook line and sinker that's the kind of code an idiot uses on their luggage right right i'm blanking what's that specifically from all right well uh at this point we're gonna go south then a little bit east space balls thank you oh man space balls Uh, I hear stuff. Last time that happened, I got punched. Alright, now we're going to travel our east. The direction I heard stuff. Coat an idiot uses on their luggage. Man, space balls is something we should do as a Discord watch party. I haven't seen that movie in a very long time. Uh, let's see. How do I get... No, you. Ah, hold on. Okay, I have to be cutting a lot more east. Where am I here? Yeah, a lot more east is this way. Can we go up and around the tree, maybe? Okay. Ah, there we go, there we go, there we go. I keep hearing something from over there. It's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. I'm watching a movie I wouldn't be allowed to watch on stream. Blazing Saddles. Ah, I have not seen that. I've been told that it's it, it's the best. In fact, Kirby, from way back, uh, he, he was big in too. What is that? Looks like a snowmobile? Yeah. There's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Wow. How do you end up on a snowmobile out here? Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah, where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. Uh, because it's called Pork Pond? 
It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den or, you know, anywhere. She totally has one. Plot even more thickens. Camp Arapaho. You're there? Yeah, I am. <sighs> it's been out there since the 50s. I'm mm. really into the idea of the scouts. It's something about men organizing boys around their ideals. Or is that right with me? Amazing. Beware of weebelos in large numbers. Beware of anyone in large numbers. <laughs> the bridge to the camp is out. Damn. Yep. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. No, of course. Good plan. Apparently, I don't get hungry. I've had one granola bar in like three months. Uh, okay, so. Uh, it kind of looks like I have to go northeast to get up and around it. Um, yeah, if I follow this. Do I still have my. Flashlight? Cool. Probably can't do much to get down. Oh, hey, yeah. No, okay. But if I, if I step down there, will that let me across? Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's a long drop for sure. Report that? No? No worries. Uh, and so... Scout camp still just kind of straight east in from where I am. Done. Let's get in there. Let's take a look. Wow. Yeah. I was a scout person, so... You ever talk to any of the scouts? here in a while and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens unless it's Brian Goodwin well if forced I mean I can make conversation with him yeah. plus it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies I mean, he, he wasn't a scout or a weedle or whatever <laughs> yeah. I got the sense that boy could barely tie his shoes let alone a clove hitch what the hell's a clove hitch uh, <laughs> Well, it's a knot that you are probably too old and too stubborn to learn. Ooh. You use it to make rafts and shelters and stuff like that. There we go. You know how to tie one? Heck no. I'd make a weeblow do it. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblows. For the past 35 years, yeah. Uh -huh. Anything weird inside? There are bear traps out here. In the scout shelters. Scouts are stalwart prey. That's messed up. Yee. And then this one looks like it's just been trashed. Uh, there was a scouting uh, camp for youngins that I would find that, or I would find that I, that that I went to that uh, lots of kids when you know growing up would go. Um, who dropped Pat in the middle of the shelter, right? Um, and they were these style of bunker things, obviously a little bigger because you'd fit like 12 beds and whatnot. <clears throat> but yeah, when as soon as this area opened up, the tarp styles and everything. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. Uh, I found an axe. If one of the crew left it, that thing is actually called a Pulaski. Well, all right. Looks like an axe to me. This thing will be a huge help. For both getting through the backcountry and getting through that fence. Done. Not to mention, come at me, bro, if you think you're going to knock me out again. I found a little trowel. Maybe I should take it with me. Use it to pop open beers. Done. Wow. Um, 99% sure that's for burying poop. And I'm holding it. Maybe drop it. 
There we go. That doesn't look like comfortable uh, tickets. And then a memo. Hey D, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. Ooh. Does it say anything of note? Uh, next few days dropping into the thoroughfare mm -hmm. on five, behalf of point Dr. Five play. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station. Holy crap! <laughs> I said I would need someone to give me Jeez. a taste of my own medicine. Oh, God. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And yeah. now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? Right. Us. They're researching us. Wow, we don't you, know that. You think they're studying you and me? I <laughs> do. Yeah. I mean, maybe it's about... Studying two strangers who talk every day. Like, if you put someone in isolation with someone right? else, what they do. Hi, That's sir. What I think. Welcome. Fuck that. Agreed. I think we should allow for the possibility that this is all just a big misunderstanding, but... God, if you saw what you said you did... Fuck, Henry. Yeah, right? I saw it. Okay. So what's next? Well, I've got an axe, so I can figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and keep an eye out for anyone following you. To Wapiti Meadow. Unbelievable. And Kai coming in with the sub. Welcome to the intensity that is Firewatch. Um, and thank you for the lurk. <laughs> wow. What a cray game. We gotta return to Wapiti Meadow. Uh... Hold on. Which is well, way up here for Wapiti Station. Uh, and I couldn't get through that gate. Oh, boy, howdy. It looks a lot further than it is, like map-wise. I think we're going to be able to get there not too badly. Unless I get, you know, stuck in places like this again. Oh, am I not really supposed to cut through here? I don't think I'm supposed to cut through here. I, I, there's no actual jump button. Oh, I'm not supposed to cut through here. Go backwards this way. Good times. <laughs> well, I found out where you're not supposed to go. Is there an unstuck button? Uh... That's my flashlight in case it gets dark. There's not even a crouch. Uh, Delilah, I'm stuck. Like, it kind of looks like I can continue. I think I kind of came in, maybe what would be sideways. <clears throat> Alright, let me set cough button here. Still have a bit of a cough every once in a while, and then with the humidity in the area. Yeah, I don't think there's enough AD spam to- Oh, hey, hey, hey. There we go. To get me out of there. Never mind. AD spam for the win. Uh, okay, so let's take a look at our map. We are all the way down here. We gotta go past Pork Pond. We're going west. Uh, and eventually we're gonna meet up with Oh, probably that Cottonwood Creek. Again, okay, good stuff. <laughs> cool guy pose away, my friend. Right. Um. Oh, yeah, I can't cross that. <clears throat> oh, this was Broken Bridge and I can't cross here. Okay. That is why we came out through. Right, we had to come up and around through in here. No, it was actually north of all of this. Yeah, up through in here. Good stuff. 
Peanut butter just tried eating a stick of spearmint gum? No, no, not good for kitties. <laughs> Back and right at fire. Uh, oh. There was a... Damaged... Tr hey! You have the gun now? Not gun. Done and done. Yes. Sweet stuff. Can I report that? That was badass. Oh, Delilah should know. I, I had a thought. Ooh. Let's hear it. That was timing. You heard someone in the bushes. I did. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. <laughs> or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees, in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. <laughs> Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? Oh, no. gravy. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Um, there isn't any way someone, like another lookout, could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. Well, what about when I heard you talking to someone else? Whoa. I just left your line open. That's not what this is. Get in your tower. Shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I yeah. will call you. Kitty should not have a gun. Thoroughfare Tower, this is Two Forks calling you for the, oh, 50th time today. She's not responding, dude. The flapjack fire continues <laughs> to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. Right? Hello, sunshine. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? Uh -huh. Are you kidding right now? Did you not stay up all night knowing that someone is... I actually slept just great. Uh, okay. Ooh. By the She's way, playing I it. was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? Hey. What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh, uh, all right. Right. Just, you know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Mm -hmm. Let me look at it, and I'll tell you. No. You don't need to tell me. Just, um... I love internalize it. it. It's, it's a great tree. And there's an area called, um... That tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. Ooh. I like it. So that is Lodge Pine? Maybe somewhere on my map? Called Lodge Pine? Or did I? I'm at Two Forks. Pork Pond, lovely. Did I get that correct? That I was going second from. Wait. Oh no! Wait a minute. It's Cottonwood because it was second from the left, right? Or second from the. So <clears throat> maybe out by uh, Cottonwood Creek. Twelve fifteen. Let's go have a. Am I actually gonna meet Delilah? Cotton Candy Creek. Do I still have my axe? Still have my light. I think. Those are my like. Notes, but that's about it. To a flip. 
I don't know if I can do a flip. Okay, uh, we are now going southish. Uh, we have to go, like, s uh, southwest for a little while. That's a pretty deep down. We don't get to go that. Uh, this way? No getting down there. Cut around here. Ooh. And then maybe this way? Yeah, okay. Getting through the forest is actually really cool. This is not too shabby. Um, oh, uh, maybe we put the compass away before we go looking. Uh, we're not going Jonesy or Ruby, but we are going straight, straight south from here. Okay. Cannot do a flip off of here either. There's just no way. <clears throat> okay, so south. So it's starting to get to be pretty crazy. Uh, there's the medicine wheel. That's nice. Uh, do I want to go through... Straight south. <clears throat> okay, and then this is where the controlled fire was. That's not bad. Uh, I'm here at Cottonwood Creek. Oh, don't you see say the cash it. Box there? Uh, it must be around here somewhere. It is. Find it and open it. I changed the code. It's 5678. Are you kidding me? I was in a rush. <laughs> um, I hear someone. Got it now. Good. I spent all day getting you that radio. <laughs> I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, lied to another ranger, and hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. Hopefully. Holy fuck, Henry. We have to get into that site. Yeah. Oh, Whatever no. Whatever these people are doing is illegal, right? Right. Are you okay? No style. I don't know, Henry. No style. been listening to us all summer. How is this actually happening? This is happening to someone else. I don't care if this is my anyone. <sighs> this is just happening to us. Everyone else is fine. Are you sure? Yes. I've tried to bring it up to Chimney Rock, Elk's Fork, and no. Beartooth Lookout, and every one of them got confused. Asked me if I'm okay and if I need to be relieved. <laughs> Our fucking state coordinator asked if I was just having lady troubles. Oh, so Jeebus. No, this isn't happening to anyone else, and I'm done asking. Look, I'm headed back to the gate, and now that I've got an axe, we'll know something soon. You need to get into that site. Call me when you find something. No kidding. Oh, peeps. This new radio is lit. Uh, okay, so. Love it. You need to get into that site. <laughs> you know, die before me, right? The, the, you know, she's... She's stuck somewhere. Uh, okay, so... We need to travel north past the medicine wheel, and then we'll... And, like, it keeps sounding like there's somebody over there. So we're going... North. Past the medicine wheel. And we'll see if we can get to a connecting path. We'll head west. Wowza. 
I mean, I was clocked, and they took the, like, red radio that I found. Hey, uh, I just thought of something not, um, not great. Oh, wow. What is it? I filed a report that said that neither of us ever talked to or saw those girls, the ones that oh. went missing a few weeks back. Yeah, I told you not to say anything. You agreed with me. I know I did. And now someone probably has a transcript of that entire conversation. And I've filed a report that's a blatant lie. Wow, Delilah. Uh, and those girls are still missing. Yep. Fuck, Delilah. Fuck, indeed. We really need to get to the bottom of this. Oh, welcome, Parker. Uh, Sage, I'm not 100% sure. I feel like the, they do. I had Atmos for something. And I know, I think DTS and Atmos are... They're separate. They're different, maybe. One of them is the Windows one, and one of them is, well, Dolby. Um, I feel like that that's the case, but there's something maybe whack about OBS and using that. Welcome, Parker. Welcome. Oh, wait. We were going north? Oh, no, wait. We had to go... Yeah, we're going back by Jonesy Lake. Okay. Deep eyes, peeps. Uh, let's shake a bunch of legs and rappel. So far, though, I'm hearing I'm hearing really good sounds, like all around me. Um, so there's a chance I have things turned on. Uh, certain games use it better than others as well, so. Alright. Still heading west. Uh, maybe. Hold on. That's the southern pass? No, I want to keep going west. Go west. West, we'll go maybe this way. If you can, or get Dolby DTS through Windows Store, then you should go check out the song on YouTube, Witcher, Toss a Corn, Your Witcher, <laughs> 8D. Music shifts from left to right and back through the whole song. That's awesome. There's a handful of songs that are that are decent that way. Um, Hold Me Now, is that Thompson Twins? Uh, absolutely brilliant song for stereophonics. This was the first place that we found... Uh, the missing girls. I've passed through here like a handful of times. And it's super creepy having to zigzag through all of this. So we're, we're, we're back here. So we had north, I think. Um, I'm trying the 8D version for Firestarter or Money for Nothing. Wow. There was a... a a speaker type, a plasma speaker. It has like a little uh, arc and a small little uh, purple arc of lightning travels through it and that produces the sound. Uh, and so the video was done, this is back before 4K, um, but the video was done at the highest possible fidelity that they could and they said that when you're in person, it's honestly better. And I don't think I'd ever heard a more crisp audio from a YouTube video in my life. It was absolutely perfect, letter perfect audio um it was absolutely absolutely brilliant um so i can only imagine what they're able to do now that had to be at least a decade ago swallowed a tablet without water at the apple store weird how they had tablets at a store where they would sell apples yes that does sound very strange um oh and it's just north of us oh perfect okay hold on uh do i just go up this then our gate awaits, and I have an axe with me. A rope hook, okay. Is it this way we're going? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Rebel. Everyone's <laughs> looking at, at you. Weird after it. <laughs> Indeed. Firestarter and Oh My God makes this song better. Wow. 
Yeah. There was, um, for years I listened to music on crappy headphones and then I bought really, really good headphones and suddenly was able to hear like whole parts of songs I didn't know was there before. Okay, we're here. So we're here. Listen to that music change. Oh. It was a tablet and it said no contact with water. So, you know, swallowed it without any water. That makes best sense. I'm busting the gate down. There's nobody around and it's the quickest way in. Copy that. <laughs> Boom! That was smooth, too. Wobbity. Can I just, like... I don't want to get stuck on trees again, but can I just... get over here? I just sit here with your eyes closed. The Keith Flint is just moving behind me. Yes! Oh. Oh. I mean, it also sounds like nightmares waiting to happen. 8D version. That's phenomenal. Um, I'm intentionally going slow. It's not so dark I want my flashlight. Not to mention, flashlights are like, hey, look at me. But like... It's nice to know it's responsive. Delilah's Tower. Oh. Wait, what? Thoroughfare? So she's... Where am I? She is... My compass away. Um... Where I am, and I can see straight through to her. Okay. Okay, I'm at the site. I don't see anybody around. Lucky for us. Yeah, okay. lucky for us. D, there is some serious comms equipment out here, wireless stuff. What do you mean? I'm talking a big 20 foot tall transmission tower. Yeah. They can probably listen to whoever the hell they want. They're nestled down in this valley, which makes it impossible for you or any lookout to see them. Wow. The ground is really shiny, too. I don't know if it's supposed to be. She go back and complain. Demand two apples for one bad tablet. Seriously. This thing was terrible to swallow. Everything is super shiny. Oh. Uh, wow. We're gonna go around stuff. I'm gonna assume that's my graphics settings. What? Hi. Sturdy leather belt looks heavy. This thing is losing its mind, beeping like crazy. Wow. I can hear it. What, what's it after? I don't know. I'm going to go find out. Now they're doing something with the soil out here, too. It's all gridded off. <sighs> Who knows what else they're up to? Oh, yeah. Guys. Wow, I'm not good at following the beeping, but... I'm in their main tent. What's it like? It's definitely some sort of monitoring station. 
Yeah. Ooh. I found her main monitoring desk. You should get out before they come back. There's a box here with a dial. It has a needle, like it measures earthquakes. You mean like a lie detector? Yeah, I'm not sticking around to get hooked up to it. Okay. Shit. Got a map here that confirms they're tracking my... our... people's movements. The map's got all sorts of paths yeah, and does. areas marked off on it. There are lines that not look Jonesy like Lake. paths I normally take. Are you positive it's you? I'm not sure, but I think so. It beeps mostly, like, right here. Ah. There it is. Wow. It's an ankle monitor. Yeah. Susceptibility to manipulation. But there's a folder of reports here. What do they say? They're assessments about the two of us. There's stuff in here about Julia. Like what? Stuff I didn't tell you. This is... What, is, what does it say about me? You said there was one about me. And it looks oh, like they've yeah. been following me around. What I do when I'm out hiking? Jesus. Henry, do you hear me? It says that you, you and your boyfriend are still together. What? We're not. They're messing with us. Yeah. Okay. They are. How do they even know who he is? How the hell does this... I'm so sick of letting these people do this to us. This is awesome! Just burn the place down. Think about it. I love Wyoming. Worst case scenario. Look, maybe that's what they want us to do. What do you mean? M maybe they're trying to push us to the point where we do something crazy. The grass is dry as hell here. It would go up in a second. Yeah, there's well, rags. Now I'm thinking, what if you're right? I, I just don't think we should do anything that we can't undo. Well, maybe it's not the best idea. Yeah, it's definitely not the best idea. Anderson Wayfire. Oh, so fucking wound up. It's all right. I'm just gonna hike back. We have the wave receiver, and tomorrow we can figure out what to do. Head back to Two Forks. Uh, anything in the crates? <laughs> the fallout in me is all like, "Hey, we should." Give me just a sec. There's all sorts of contraptions and shit out here. That's enough. Let's maybe head up and back out. There's the monitoring tower. Wow. Agreed, Sonic. This was a lot too long to sit here and be like, hey. And we're still not turning on the light. We can see. We're doing okay. Back over the space to jump. And... There it goes. Uh... Um, Delilah, there's smoke coming from the site. I just climbed out of there and the bridge collapsed. What the hell happened to you? It's definitely not the best idea. Oh, it wow. It wasn't me. <sighs> what do we do? I don't, I don't know. I have no idea what to do. We have a fire burning in the woods. The one thing I know how to respond to, and all of this shit has me wondering what the hell to do. And what about who started um. it? What about them? Uh, the person who started it? Yeah. We're talking about people watching us out here who are now burning the forest and everything in it around us. I, I, I don't know what to do about that. Except get the hell out. Yes, yeah. get us the hell out of here. I will. Day 77, guys. Oh. 
This receiver just picked something up. Uh, what? What thingy? What now? I found a device that picks up frequencies. Right. It's how I found the reports last night, and it's going off now. It just picked up a fre frequency? Yeah, what could it be? She sounds drunk. I don't know. You gotta find out. Alright, I'm on my way now. She's drunk. You know what I just picked up? Yeah. Uh, no. A fifth of Major Bueno tequila from the creek. Are you drunk? No. I am getting drunk. Don't do that. <laughs> I know. I know. Everything has gone to total shit, but you gotta live a little. You gotta allow, Hank. No, no, live you're right. A little. I can't think of wow. any good reason why you wouldn't want your decision making inhibited right now. My thinking is I could stay up all night worried I'm gonna lose my job because of the side fire, or I could not worry and let the chips fall where they may. It's not like there's any proof we were down there. We're gonna find My photos. thinking is I'm gonna follow this wave receiver. Ooh, well, I like it when you think. Ay, ay, ay. I'll just leave you alone with whatever these thoughts are. Yeah. Southwest is big. It's not my mug. Oh yeah, there is a fire. Where is it? Can we see it from here? Yeah, there it is. That's a controlled burn. We actually spent a good night flirting and... and, and... Oh, and my radio is off? Wow. I don't know at what, what point I should be saving this and going to sleep. Okay. How do I not think somebody's leading me here? Um, making noises. You are going to die soon. So this is leading me back to Jonesy Lake? I think. <laughs> That's what the beeping says. No, okay. Maybe back up this way. If I head down here. I'm just like running through the dark. Following a Geiger counter. Oh, don't just go pushing your way through the bushes, buddy. Oh. Uh, we found a strange backpack. Shit! <gasps> what? Ah. Dude! Keys? See, I, I found some sort of supply bag, light camping gear, some clothes, and basics, but it was alarmed. I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire. You're okay? It's not a trap or anything? <clears throat> yeah, I'm fine. But there's there's also a set of keys here. Now, I don't know why they'd be hidden out here. They say Shoshone National Forest, yeah, Cave 452. Yeah, that cave. Is that the one in the canyon? Yeah, it is. <sighs> Who the hell took them? What's her name yeah, lost the keys the for those a long time cave? ago? Let's just think. Says the woman with a half a bottle of tequila in her belly. <laughs> Maybe they're panicking and we're preparing to beat it. The fire has them spooked and we have new walkie-talkies, so we have the upper hand. Yeah, well, mm. it's hard to feel like you have the upper hand when you're standing in the dark in the middle of the woods. Dude, you followed oh. it out here. 
Well, you're back in your tower. Maybe you need a drink, too. I'm not in my tower. I am looking at a man standing in your lookout. And it's not you? You know, it's not me. Oh my god, go. I'm going. Where am I? And okay, so my. There's my tower. Yeah, they wanted me out of my tower. I have an axe. And I'm burly. In this game, I'm burly. I don't see anyone up here. She was just there. Uh... Oh. Yep. It's a tape of us talking down at the site. It sounds like it was recorded from somewhere nearby. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, and... And then? It sounds like we were the ones who burned it down, and that it was your idea. No. We are screwed. No! He just don't freak out, okay? Wow. Don't freak out. Well, you have a whole lot of gill in your belly. Also, I didn't report the ring. Lovely. We need to find out what someone's been keeping in that cave. They want us to go in that cave. We don't have a lot of time left out here, and if we don't find some fucking answers, when they lift us out of here, it's gonna be in handcuffs. We just, we have to stick together, okay? Keep our story straight. From the first day with those girls to the person breaking in on our conversation, everything. We just, we gotta be honest and consistent. Yeah, I suppose you're right. That's going to be stupid tough, though, right? Because you've been just doing stuff. Uh, yeah, let's put that on. Because it's mine. Anything on it? Not at all. Tracking device? Who else are they following? Cave keys, why steal these, why hide them, wave receiver, they want it back, who? Oh. So these these are like my notes. Goodwin's under surveillance too. Who is listening to us? Note from the fire crew. Yeah. All the different things plus my whiskey. Site reports, Delilah lying. And since, like, yeah, this is essentially my space. Can I do desk drawer? Open. A 20-sided die? Yes. That's awesome. Old papers pick up. Whoa. Escape from two orcs. I wonder. Oh, somebody made an entire D&D &D map with the magic circle, the orf, orc pond, the halfling village, which is the kids camp. Uh, two orcs lair. Oh, the flat jack fire. I, I, I can report on that. Cool. 
Scorched Lands, Iron Fortress. Iron Fortress, whoa. Wait a minute. So whoever made this map knew about that area? Hey, there's a map in my tower yeah. that I'm pretty sure is not USGS regulation. Um, unless I've unknowingly been assigned to work in two orcs and the lake to the east is made of acid. <laughs> two orcs? Uh, it looks like it was made by Brian Goodwin. wonder if his dad hated this type of stuff and he felt like he had to hide it. Oh, man. That would be sad. So you have a soft spot for nerds? I really do. <laughs> Uh, and then... Well, the fire. flapjack fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. They're not going to try to put it out? Not yet, apparently. Oh. Ate the hard way. It's another Richard Sturgeon book. More Neil Black. Curious if any of these have... Any sort of a, a reason for me to, to be picking them up. Um, yeah, guys, this was quite the, uh, quite the adventure today. Can I get a save game? This was, this was nuts. What are we at? We're at, uh, two hours, 47 minutes. Um... I think we gotta save this and and try this again nice and soon. Don't know if we wanna I mean could take this over tomorrow instead of uh Bioshock 2. I'm not sure how much longer this game goes on for. Um they could honestly have this go for years and I'd just follow it. This is just kind of awesome. Um but I think I think I'd like to find somebody to raid. Uh and maybe Go get ourselves uh, some sleep, everybody. So let's maybe go hit some music. We haven't had music on in a little bit. This has mostly been whatever music has been available to us from the Firewatch. So let's go quit the desktop. This was an awesome stream. Firewatch is quite the game. Uh, thank you to the no spoilers I've received thus far, which is awesome. Uh, so I will take that. That is great. Uh, wow. We got some good stuff. Look at that. We got ourselves a host. We got ourselves some bits. We got ourselves some sub. That is absolutely fantastic. Uh, oh, just curious. If I come back, this will be a black screen. But if I come back for a sec... That says 25 still, doesn't it? Uh, the stream elements uh, widget doesn't know how to take subs away when people's subs expire. So that's still only a 22 now. Um, that number, I would love for it to be able to move because it needs to be accurate. Uh, we'll have to find out if we can get that fixed. I'm supposed to check that at the beginning of every stream. Oh, so hold on. We've got Ruse. We've got Zamudi on just chatting. But we've also got Kai. He's doing a Friday the 13th thing. Now, I know his fiance was playing for a little bit. I think she took the first 30 minutes of the stream. Uh, but we should go jump in on him and just give a little bit of hype and say, haven't heard of this game until now, Firewatch? It's it's kind of like like it's a it's a breadcrumb story. I'm sure that there's only a certain uh, oh duct tape voting Kai indeed. Yes, go get some. Well, go get some Friday the 13th then. Uh, it's like a choose your own adventure, but I have a feeling that it only changes the narrative it doesn't actually change the story too much what you do i don't imagine that there's too many that are um i could put sunglasses on my radio mode. i i don't imagine that there's too many different things that we can that we can do yeah sunglasses on the radio mode looks great uh but i think i think firewatch is a great game this is this is pretty cool do we vote that we play this again tomorrow night instead of um, uh, instead of Bioshock? Maybe keep Bioshock on a back burner for a short while and we'll uh, come back to it when we finish Firewatch? Or maybe two nights of Firewatch? To if we don't finish it tomorrow, then we go back to Bioshock for a couple days? That could be cool. Um, Guys, Kai's definitely in. 
He's got his game going. Uh, he's playing, so we're not at a, a chair. I vote you get Undertale. Dude, there's like 500 games in front of Undertale at the moment. Only because... Like, I mean, I even got gifted a copy of Hollow Knight. I would love to play that on stream. I gotta get the controller out, though, and figure it all out. All that sort of goodness. That guy, Kai. So let's go hit a raid button. Get out your raid emotes. Get out your hype. Get out your awesome. Uh, and we'll see. I, I kind of think that we play some more Firewatch tomorrow night. It's a really good game. And I think the um, the atmosphere of Rapture in Bioshock uh, gets us uh, back into the game really easily. Bioshock games are, are pretty immersive as well. Oh. Well, Hollow Knight's one. And there's 499 other ones. Um, I don't know. I'll, t I'll take a look at Undertale. I just picked up Among Us. I'm going to play that off stream, I think, this Friday. Um, yeah, bring your hype. Bring your hype, everybody. Uh, let's go say hi to the good old buddy. Uh, I think they are ready starting in something like three minutes. All right. Peace, kids. We'll discuss over Discord the future of the stream. Wah. Enjoy. Have a good night. And thanks again, everybody. This was good.